And we might need those coats pretty soon, Mike. Yeah, we've got uh, a big change coming up, Clay, especially compared to how it's been. I mean, just incredible warmth. When did, when, when did you come see me at the skate park? Was it Monday, Tuesday, you came to say hi? Uh, yeah, yeah, and it was, I mean, absolutely gorgeous these last few days. Great to kind of take walks, enjoy the sunshine, but it, when will, how much more, how many more days of this do we have? Uh, it pretty much ended today, and I'll explain okay. why. So what we've got going on right now is just Again, unprecedented warmth for this time of year. Here's the high temperatures that we reached today. Uh, we saw a lot of 70s, which for this time of year is impressive. That's more than 20 degrees above average. You know, seeing 68 in Bangor, seeing 67 in Caribou. This is 27 ab degrees above what we normally would see on November 11th. And I know it sounds like I'm beating a dead horse, but this is the big weather story. It's just these record highs that we've set. Four of the last six days in Portland have set record highs, and we have s similar stats out of Bangor. Some of these records that we broke in Bangor have been long standing since the 1930s, so about 80 to 90 years ago. I mean, it's just impressive to see that much warmth, uh, especially this time of year, but things are about to change. We've got our cold front getting ready to roll on through. The majority of the heavy rain actually avoided us. There's some pretty heavy rain ongoing in Connecticut, Rhode Island, and south uh, into the tri-state area. We've got this thinner line of showers now starting to make its way through our region. It stretches from about Caribou all the way through uh, Baxter State Park and ends right around Lange, Rangeley and makes its way into Coas County, New Hampshire. And all of this cooler air behind it is going to settle in overnight. And you can actually pretty clearly see uh, how it's going to affect the temperatures. I mean, in just a few hours by daybreak, we're talking about the potential for some upper 30s mixed in through the high elevations of northern New Hampshire and western Maine. But I still think for a lot of us, low temperatures will bottom out in the 50s. And then we see some 50s through the day tomorrow and then cooler air eventually f works its way in late tomorrow uh, and into Friday. Friday does look like a bit of a chillier day for most of us. We're looking at 11 o'clock tomorrow night where we have more typical temperatures for this time of year. But even that at 11 o'clock is still slightly above average. So here's the cooler weather on its way in. I do think tomorrow ends up mostly dry. Maybe some showers at the coastline on Friday. Low pressure staying to the south of us, though. And then on uh, Saturday, we've got this expecting, like, you know, mix of sun and clouds type of deal, more typical for this time of year. Uh, high pressure sits to our south. Again, not going to be a big issue, but it will be a lot cooler. I am a little bummed that we're missing the rain tonight. If you watched anything over the weekend, I talked about how we need it desperately, especially at the coastline. Still have a severe drought from Lubeck to Kittery with an extreme drought still appearing in York County into southern New Hampshire. So we'll take any rain that we can get, but our chances mm, seem a bit slim over the next week or so. Seas tomorrow about 3 to 5 feet, southwest wind 15 to 25 knots. Your seven day forecast inland afternoon shower tomorrow, partly cloudy and breezier on Saturday. And uh, maybe a flurry on Wednesday. So things get a bit more exciting as we get into the middle of next week. And that's exciting for anybody who loves snow and uh, interesting for us as meteorologists. You know, it's a bit far out right now. Nothing set in stone just yet, Clay. A year ago today we were talking about snow. So not all that uh, out there. Yeah, not all yeah. that unusual, if you will. I guess it's exciting for everyone whose job title is a meteorologist. Yeah, we're having fun with it. That's yes. all that matters. Okay. For everyone else, we're just along for the ride, Mike. Yes. All right. Appreciate it, man.